My name is Pazit Benezri. I'm the owner of Lulibu Company, and you're watching the innovation segment on Eye on Business. Hi, I'm Brett Babos with Rebel Earth Films, and you are watching the innovation segment of Ion Business. Welcome to Ion Business. This is our innovation segment where we look at innovative companies, innovative products, and the innovative people that lead those companies and make those products. Tonight we have with us Brett Babos, the head of Rebel Earth Films. And Brett, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Can you first just tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into the business here? into the animation business. Yes. I spent uh, 15 years in the animation industry in Hollywood okay. working for all the big studios. So I worked for Warner Brothers making television cartoons. I was okay. assistant director on a feature film and then I was uh, fortunate enough to work with DreamWorks on their okay. first three animated films. So it was quite the experience. Now what made you shift and decide to go into business for yourself here and start a small company? I always was fascinated by the power of animation to um, be able to educate and inspire people. And I thought that uh, I could give back the community somehow and do some good by uh, teaching kids about the environment via animation. Now you have an interesting little story about how you first got inspired to do this particular animation though. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, there was this educational series on Saturday morning TV called Schoolhouse Rock. Yep, Do you remember Schoolhouse absolutely, Rock? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I used to watch Schoolhouse Rock all the time. <laughs> They're little, you know, the little three-minute animated segments. And um, fa fl flash forward, or, yeah, flash forward about 30 years, and somebody <laughs> asked a group of us if um, anybody knew the preamble to the U.S. Constitution. Okay. And I was the only one that did. And they asked me how I knew, and I said it was because of a animated cartoon I'd seen on Schoolhouse Rock where they talked to you with animated characters and music about the preamble. And so I started thinking about that and I realized that in those 30 years I hadn't read the preamble, I hadn't seen it, hadn't been exposed to it, but that idea was stuck in my head. And so from there I just started to contemplate the power of that model okay. and decided that um, if I was to take it on a grand scale, and like the environment, and teach kids with character animation that we could, we could do some pretty good things. So now, that's how this was born. Now, how did you get from that basic general concept to the trash fairy? To the trash fairy. You mean this right here? Yeah, let's show the audience what we got here. So this is our, uh, the trash fairy is our first uh, educational cartoon. And uh, in the cartoon, the trash fairy shows an, the average Joe character, what yep. his life would look like if he... Uh, didn't generate any trash. Okay. So what we were kind of going for is that same model from Schoolhouse Rock. We want something that's entertaining, that people are going to uh, want to watch over and over because it's funny. Okay. And uh, truth be told, I just wanted to make something that the kid, the 10-year-old kid that's still inside of me, yep. would think was pretty cool. So now, that's how we came to this but idea. The trash fairy, I mean, that's an interesting take on trash. I mean, did that was that a character you'd seen somewhere or something similar? In no, we, we just, uh, you know, I, I have the animation background. And some, yep. of the, some of the people we've been working with have an animation background. And so what we tried to do was develop something visual first. Okay. So instead of writing a script, we wanted something v that was visually compelling. We came up with an idea for a fairy. And um, I decided that the fairy shouldn't be just a winged little forest nymph type it should be it'd be something <laughs> funny clearly so, it's not <laughs> yeah so we came up with a new jersey sanitation worker type okay so here's the most important question is the have you cast for the trash fairy yet you mean for the for the voices yes oh, you're putting me on the spot here i'll probably end up being the voices for both of them oh man see so i don't have a shot is that what you're well, telling me i mean we can try we yeah, can okay well i'd like to have a audition or something to get a chance well, to... well give me your best trash fairy voice then well i think i think you know i think i've got already set right I mean I can, I can yeah that of course pretty easily, so so. Um, so you know you want the trash fairy I'll come to your house so I clean up your trash pretty good huh uh, that's pretty good we're that's going for <laughs> we're going for something more like this okay. a little gruffer a little harsher trash fairy. a little gruffer 
Now, what do you hope the trash ferry is going to accomplish? We hope that uh, on the first, uh, the top level, that, that people will just be entertained by it. Because yep. the more people yep. watch the cartoon, then, yep. then the more that we get our messing across. On a secondary level, we hope that um, people will see things in the cartoon that they can um, correct in their daily lives almost immediately. Okay. And thirdly, we hope that a whole generation of kids, just like myself when I was younger, grows up with these ideas in their heads. So when they become the next generation of leaders in the country, they can make great change because of our little cartoon. Now, is this just for kids, or what's the audience you're shooting for? No, it's, this is for everybody. Okay. So the example here is that uh, my grand or my my father loves The Simpsons, and my nine-year-old okay. nephew loves The Simpsons. Okay. Okay. So if you take um, popular media over the years, so Star Wars, Bugs Bunny, The Simpsons, yep. it appeals to different ages on different levels, and that's what we're going. That's what we're going for with this. Now, is the trash fairy theme, is that, is that the business, or do you envision other characters and other themes? Oh, no, it's not the business at all. This is our first, this is our first cartoon. Okay. Okay. And uh, I like this character enough that I see a whole series of cartoons okay. with him, but we will then go on to other environmental topics with other characters. We've picked 2D animation for our first one because it's simpler and, and a little cheaper to produce in, okay. in some regards. And we'll, when we get to our documentary feature film will have CG animated characters and live action on the whole okay. the whole gamut eventually. Now why the environment first? Any particular connection to that? Um, well the, the the company is solely to produce educational films on right. the environment. Right. So, on the environment? Yes, okay. on the environment. So we're, we're picking trash first just because it's the simplest, it's the most universal and it's something that you and I can kind of you know, change almost overnight, basically. But there was there a particular experience you had growing up about that got you drawn to doing something about the environment, or? You know, I've just always felt a real strong spiritual connection okay. to the great outdoors. I don't have anything specific other than I just uh, would make me sad to see some of our beautiful places get okay. destroyed by things that aren't a necessity for okay. us. You know? Okay. Now you have an unusual structure to your company in that I've worked with a lot of innovative startups, and it's hard to get them to form a board. Uh, usually they wait till too late to do it, but you went out and got a very high-powered board right off the bat. What motivated you to do that? Well, I knew that I had the animation experience. Okay. And um, prior to starting this company, I knew that I needed a business background, so I went back to school and got an MBA from Chapman University here in Orange. Okay. And I wanted my board of directors to be a very strong, strategic, business-minded company. Okay. So I specifically sought out people who had specific business-minded strategy and... Um, expertise in nonprofit and fundraising and development, economic development. Because okay. I can do this part, okay. but I need people that are going to you know, slap me on the wrist or point me in the right direction for the other part. So okay. Okay. worked hard to build, build that kind of board. That's you know, very impressive. Thank you. So what stage is the company in now and what do you see coming up next? Well, we are in pre-production our first film on the Trash okay. Ferry. Okay. And um, what's going to happen is we're going to produce the film and then distribute it, and that'll kind of be our, our uh, introduction in, into the marketplace. Okay. So once we have that, then we'll have something, you know, a, a product to show people. Okay. And then from there, we'll approach all sorts of levels of people to get interest to produce a second film, a third film, and then also help distribute this one. Okay. So my limited understanding of the film business is it's all about distribution. So how are you handling that side of it? Well, uh, for distribution, and we, we, we will hire a uh, distribution company to help distrib okay. Okay. distribute the film, but we'll also seek to put the film in some nationally renowned film festivals. Okay. Um, initially, we'll put this on YouTube and Vimeo just for exposure, okay. and then we're going to try to get the film attached to an educational feature film that's released in the theaters. Oh, okay. Now, how does that work? Well, we would just approach, um, let's say somebody's making a, a, a uh, documentary educational film, and we would just approach them and say, hey, this is roughly along the educational content of your film, and for free, put it on the front of your film. Okay, gotcha. And then get the exposure, and they get, you know, hey, you know, bonus, see, gotcha. see the trash fairy type thing. Now, is there anything I haven't asked about you'd like to tell our audience about, you know, Rebel Earth Films or Brett or? I'd like to tell them a lot about me, of course, <laughs> but <laughs> that's not the point of this. Um, well, you, you can visit our website at www.rebelearthfilms.org to uh, see more about our company and to monitor the uh, production of the Trash Ferry and see more about our upcoming films and projects. And we would appreciate the support. Well, we appreciate it.
appreciate you coming, and it's a very impressive project you've got there. So uh, well, thank you very wish much. you all the best with it. I appreciate so, it. Thanks very much. Thanks, thanks Shan. for coming. Take care. Yep. Thank you for tuning in to the innovation segment of Eye on Business. some at the end, but I can't remember what the hell it is. Uh, this is, uh, thank you for tuning in to Innovation Segment of Eye on Business. Close enough? No, I already did that.